co-founder of Nexi. Uh, Nexi is a private referral system that helps companies find top talent through their employees' social networks. We know that more than 40% of the hires are made through successful referrals. So there's a huge amount of time that's going to be wasted trying to get employees to recommend and scanning the network in order to find top candidates. So what Nexi does, it makes it really easy for employees to recommend by suggesting them a short list of top candidates. All the referrals are sent to the company account and the recruiter can pick the best one. Previously, I've co-founded Xcript, an API for ActionScript developers. After that, me and Chibriyan joined Bio.ro and helped double the user base to 40k in less than 9 months. Uh, we worked together since college on several projects, attended a few hack events. Um, we've actually thought of this idea at a brainstorm with the investor of Bio.ro, Alexander Mejano. Uh, built a prototype, raised seed investment in order to help us get this to an international market. We want to apply to GrowLab to help us in the process of customer development and in order to reach our first customers. Thank you. Very good pitch. Uh, and, you know, I mean, as, as a model, I mean, there's always things you can do better, but, you know, in terms of two slides that quickly tell you the most important things in a graphical way, this, this, was, a, this was a very good, uh, very, very good benchmark. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you, you talked about nervousness in a pitch, everybody has that. And the only way to, uh, to get it away is kind of continue to do it. Right? Um, so at, at Rollout, what we do, we, um, every Monday morning, um, the companies have to pitch. And, you know, the, the, the pitch gets better and gets firmer and kind of uh, changes as, as the business evolves. But th there's, there's no secret to success in pitching. It's basically training. Do it over and over and over again. The guys, before they, they had demo day, the, the grow up guys, they probably have pitched their companies 50 to 100 times. And you know, the first 10, 20 just, you know, are not that great and then they slowly get better. And the last ones, you know, you nail it. And they could probably wake them up in the middle of the night at 3 o'clock and say, you need to pitch your company. Um, and, and they can still do it. Um, the, the same thing about pitching is, you, know, you you need to have different pitches. You're going to have a pitch that where you really have an elevator pitch. You only have 30 seconds or one minute, and you need to be good and, and you know, in a really condensed way tell people in, in, in a very short amount of time what your startup is all about. Then you probably have the five minutes pitch, right, which is a demo day pitch where you have a little more time explaining it. And then you need to pitch in an investor meeting that might take 15 to 20 minutes. So there's different lengths of the pitches. In the end, you need to be able to, to do all three. The very short one, get to the point, and, and the really long one in the, uh, in the investment view. So, enough about the pitch, but just quick feedback. Um, understand the pain. You know, at Apebox, we, we, uh, we, we focus very much on, on using our employees to find great other employees. So we had a pretty aggressive referral system. Um, but in the end, the back end of these employees going to, to their networks is a manual one. They need to go, go, go to LinkedIn or Facebook or think about the, the, the person they worked with in their previous job. So facilitating that is, um, um, and if you do a good job in kind of providing quality leads, is, is a great way to kind of accelerate that process. Hiring is one of the biggest pain points for every technology startup in, or technology company in, uh, in, in the US, so I think real pain point, um, you know, good, good, good execution. I think it's, it's probably easy, easy to, to, to be monetized. I think that the biggest question is how do you integrate that in, in existing systems? Because um, everybody uses different HR systems to kind of have candidates. So you know, make it as easy as possible that people can take their candidates or the list of, of open jobs and import them into into your system. If not, if it has to be manually, then it's a little painful. Um, so that would be kind of my biggest feedback. Uh, one of the feedback, one, one of the things a uh, few companies here, Romania said, 
uh, why should we integrate your system with Taliro, the, the system we're actually using, and may all the employees use two products instead of one? Yeah. So that's kind of an issue yeah. we should solve. Fair enough. I mean, that, that's what I mean in terms of user flow on the, on the enterprise side. So. Because the employees are focused on doing their work, not using the companies that the HR manager yeah. imposes. Agreed. Agreed. Any questions? That's such a good pitch, there's only one question. Do, um, do employees in, I don't know, any uh, enterprise, do they use the, the enterprise system a lot? I mean, do they do that on a daily basis or is just... Uh, regarding Calio, the yeah. product we studied a lot, uh, they use it for sending referrals, so for sending um, a recommendation, they out complete a form, they upload the the, the resume, um, perhaps sending links for the available jobs to any of any of their friends. I can't imagine imagine any other ways the employees should be involved in the process. So they manage the same data, but they just don't have the referral system. Okay. If we manage to integrate with the Leo, uh, so that the employees would. Uh, do the referral on our site and it automatically appears on the videos, then I don't think it's such a big problem. We should see. Yes? You should, uh, it, the referral, you know, the hiring referral thing, mostly depending on incentives from the employer to the employee. Incentives, financial incentives? Yes, financial. Yes. Uh, Right now, the financial incentive is just a part. The other part is thinking that you've got a friend who's actually looking for a job or someone you've worked with and you want to get him to work with you. So that's the other incentive. And we're actually exploiting, exploiting the other one because the, the financial one is already done. The company says, it will hire a job developer for, and the referral bonus is 500 euros. All the employees perhaps want to, to refer a friend or refer some Java developer they have on, on their network. But our, what our algorithm actually does is filter those who have no match with the referrer. So if I, if I recommend someone I've worked with, there are higher chances that this recommendation appears up front in the recruiter dashboard. Do you know branch out? Yes. Um, What's the difference? Well, branch out is not much of a referral network. It, it's a network, for a professional network, but it's not focused on uh, getting getting spots in the company, getting those filled in. Because they don't uh, work with, they don't have the referral bonus imp implemented. And basically, there's no recruiter dashboard. There's no tools for the recruiter to request referrals from the existing employees. There's no way to see uh, what's the, who's the top candidate from all the company. So I have 200 employees. That gives me access to perhaps few 10, 10 or 20,000 connections. Who's the top for the jobs that I have? That's something that Rancho doesn't do. Thank you. Well,